Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Midboss. It's a much more traditional style roguelike. Uh, came out yesterday, I think it was, uh, made by uh, Kitsune Games, and I, I've been kind of watching this game develop for a while, and I was always kind of just on the wall because I don't play a whole lot of traditional roguelikes, but here we are. Hey, Imp, how's the rat herding business? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Wimp is more like it. Hey, boss, look at this jerk. Hey, don't call zombie a jerk. That's mean. Uh, yeah, it's not zombie's fault you're such a weakling. No, I mean you. Why, you little? The heroes have come, all monsters to their stations. Oh, it's the boss. I guess it's showtime. Remember, if you abandon your station, you'll be in trouble, wimp. Uh, yeah, you stay here where you belong. With the rats. Hey, boss. I'm getting kind of tired of being bullied by the other monsters. How about you? With everyone distracted, we could finally show them who's boss, boss. Let's start with possessing that rat over there. First, got to move over to it. Use the number, number pad, mouse, or WSD, E's, Q, Z, C keys to move. Hey, boss. Good job on that whole moving thing. Now it's time to kill the rat. Oh, wait, no. First, we have to cast possession on it. That's right. Your abilities are at the top of the screen here. Just select the ability using the keyboard F1 or by clicking it. Then click on the rat to target it. Okay, so we have p possess and depossess. Prepares a target creature for possession and killed. And depossess. Okay, well. Right, now we can kill it. Just attack by bumping into it. Remember, always prep your prey using possess. Oh, you can see like an inventory, uh, not an inventory, an initiative system on the right. Okay, so possess the plague rats. So our strength goes up, our power goes down, focus, stats go up just in general. Gotcha. We do get EXP. Woohoo, we did it. Oh, I've never been a rat before. Let's open the forms window and see what this puppy can do. All your menus can be accessed from the buttons in the lower left corner of the screen or using their hotkeys. Don't worry, boss. I'll open the menu for you this time, but you can do it yourself later by pressing O. At the top is a list of all the forms we know. In the middle is a list of all the abilities we know in that form. You can only use three abilities per form, though, so pick, the, uh, so pick those on the right. Oh, hey, boss. What do you think this next ability does? Let's go find out. All we got to do is kill more things while in this form. Okay. So next ability, Underfoot. Extra stealth and current ability in Venom. Poison of Foe inflicts force times 0.2 damage at the beginning of every turn. Okay, so this actually seems pretty neat. And then we have just basic imp. And we've we've mastered this form. Oh, geez. So we can possess, depossess, an imposter. Oh, extra stealth when not in imp form. Neat. I'll have to take a look at that. Alright, O to clear. Well, let's get out of here. That's going to take a bit of getting used to. Can I break these? Oh, I can break these. Not that probably does much good, but I can check it out. Yeah, so this game is going to be a lot closer to, like, uh, Dungeons of Dreadmore, for example. Or any other, I guess, more traditional roguelikes. Okay, so let's envenom it. Oh, that cost a fair amount. Hey, boss, did you know mana doesn't regenerate while you're running around this place? Maybe we should rest a while. R plus, you know, take a load off. Or I guess we could just stand here and pass some time in space. That'll work too. All right. Hey, boss, now that there's no monsters around, this is the perfect time to rest and regain our mana. Press R uh, and you'll pass turns until your mana and stamina is back up to full. Or you can click down here. Go ahead, boss, catch some Zs, I'll protect you. Hey boss, you're not looking too hot. Maybe you should possess something, F1, that'll perk you right up. Remember, possessing takes mana, and we have to rest, or pass, to get mana back. If you depossess F2, that'll heal you a bit too. Two turns remaining. Okay, so we don't heal, but I'm back up to full mana. Anything in the books? Ooh! Shiny loot! I call dibs. Oh wait, I can't use it anyway. I have no hands! Oh, uh, you can pick up items by clicking on them. Or pick up all items in range with G or N-O. To equip or use items. Uh, equipment menu. Okay. This is rare. Items come in 
Six rarities, common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, unique. To see loot on the ground, just hold down left alt or right alt, or toggle using left control, right control. And then there's also that. So I'm just going to hit this, and we get a Tome of Zap. Physical attack deals magic damage. Okay, I'll take that. Let's start clobber nodding. Okay. So if I do Tome of Zap, three charges. Oh, I see. Cannot use Zap yourself. Okay, cool. Uh, let's do F1. Actually, let's go up here a bit. Cast Possess on the Rad. And then, let's open up our inventory. Zap the Rat. My... Mm. Okay, let's depossess the rat. Okay, get a bit of HP. Hey boss, since we know more forms, let's equip an optional one. To do that, equipment menu. Okay, top left you can equip optional forms. Oh, use that one's equipped abilities. Since we're in our natural form right now, we get to pick three options. Or another, our soul is weaker, so we can only choose one. I guess I'll just go plague rat. Okay. Love variety is much of the next demonic spirit, but there's some things you should know. Switching equipped forms takes it out of you. The first time you do is fine, but every time you do that, you'll get weaker. That weakness is called soul fatigue. You can get rid of it by possessing a new body, though. The first time you swap forms, the soul fatigue debuff will be visible above your health bar, but be dimmed. This warns you that if you switch forms again, the soul fatigue penalty will become active. When the penalty is active, the icon will no longer be dimmed. I... okay. Well, let's keep using the Tome of Zap and probably die. Nope, we got it. Okay, and possess the Plague Rat, which gets us back up to full health. Nice. This is going to be merciless, isn't it? I can just tell it. Oh, hello. Let's see if we can get some equipment. Maybe the rat won't kick my ass. I can attack the forge. Okay, that's interesting. Well, I'm gonna check my inventory for a second. So let's put on some armor. Let's put on the boots. Okay, so plus two melee, plus two, plus two melee. Oh, it's a two-handed sword. I gotcha. I don't think I can break it. Well, that's okay. Uh, I guess I'm just going to attack the regular rat. Actually, oh, it's too late. Maybe I can't possess a rat, uh, cast possession on a rat. If... Oh, hello. Yeah, I see you're finally on your way. Hey, boss, be careful. Something smells fishy about this cat. I do like fish, but I'm just a humble merchant. If you're so harmless, how come I hear you trade with heroes? Nobody's perfect, and profit is profit. I know you monsters don't use gold, so I'll take balls of yarn and trade instead. Look for me on the way down for some good per prices. Maybe we'll just kill you instead. That would violate the non-violence clause of our furball agreement. When you're ready to embrace your destiny, go down the stairs next to me. Whatever happens, none will tell tales of your deeds. Boss, I really don't trust that guy. Okay. Anyway, so we've got stairs there. Main issue is... Main issue is I'm gonna have to go on a bit of a trip. Because there's a door we missed. I guess now that I'm kind of understanding the control scheme, it's not so bad. Oh, hi. Okay, that has a wand. Okay, so we're getting multipliers, I guess. 
Okay, we get a scroll. Cool. I can move that around. Uh, let's see. A bit hard sometimes getting this to work, but that's okay. Uh, is there a way to rotate? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay. I might have to figure out how to redo some of these spaces. Honestly, let's go to controls for a second. Controls. Mouse movement. Uh, let's see. It'd be nice if we could switch the multi-key. Oh, multi-key diagonals. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so, no, we want to do up left. I don't even... Okay, you know, I'm probably just going to accept this. This probably would be easier if I had, if I was using the keypad, but I'm not, I'm really not used to it. Also, all of my recording buttons are hot keyed to that. What? Oh, did I reset? Oh. I accidentally reset the, uh, the controls there. I was like, why are we not moving? There we go. Hey boss, now that we've made it past the first floor, you should know about the turn order. Okay, we already know about the turn order. Let's see, any portrait with a gold border is us, boss. Turns start from the bottom. Every portrait you go towards the top, another turn. Keep in mind that once our turn, we won't show up in the bottom of the turn order, since we're already taking our turn. Hey boss, you've made it to the second floor. Congratulations. This floor is going to be bigger, so you should know about the map that's in the top right corner. We already know about that. Oh, and some of the monsters are going to be automatically aggressive around here now. I guess that's completely fair. Oh, let's grab whatever gear we can grab from here first. Ooh, shield. Okay, potion. Hey boss, that's a lot of stuff you're carrying. Let's not go into where you stash it all. Anyway, if you want to drop some stuff, just drag and drop the item outside the equipment menu to drop it. You can also hover your mouse over the item you want to drop and press G or NO. Remember to see all the loot. Yeah, okay, got that. Yeah, we want to grab as much equipment as we can grab right now. They're on to us. The other dungeon monsters don't like us getting out of line and will attack us if they notice us. We can sneak past them if we're stealthy enough, but some monsters are more perceptive than others. Looks like we got a fight on our hands. Well, good luck with that, boss. I'm going to die here. I thought this was going to be an item. I'm a dunce. I might be faster than it. Okay, let's check. Thank you. Potion of not dying. Level up, ability learned. Oh, we learned, we leveled up, exciting. Let's open up the stats menu and see what we got. Okay, at the top are your meta attributes, which you can increase using stat points. Your meta attributes define whether you hit hard or you're good at crits or status effects and have lots of tough toughness or stamina. At the right are your core abilities, which are calculated using form stat multipliers times your meta attributes. These define how your meta attributes express themselves in a practical sense. Finally, to the left and in the middle, there's some miscellaneous stats. Don't forget to use your stat points to increase your meta abilities, boss. Okay, so violence is magical and physical ma maximum damage, crits minimum damage, condition strength, defense against physical and magical attacks, and HP, mana, and stamina. I'm just going to put most of my points into health for the moment. The, uh, the more we can survive, generally the better. Okay, how long are we on fire for? Okay, we're no longer on fire. Now, I saw another rat around. I wish I had, uh, oh, yeah, we should probably check. So, boots, staff of resistance. Uh, extra resistances. I'll take it. Unidentified robe. Resistance. Shield of constitution. Oh. Constitution evasion versus the staff. Put on the heavy boots. Wretched shield of focus. Oh, that's no good. Identification scroll. Okay. Um, we want to put on the robe. Probably not on the Wretched Shield, so let's identify the Robe of Spirit. Not that I really have any idea what that does.
Okay, so F1. Do possession. And beat the tar out of the rat. Okay, so it's going to be the same thing. But it should boost our HP up. Which is exactly what we need. I wish I had possessed the flame sword, but I didn't know what, what I was doing. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Looks like we got a fair amount of loot around here. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh. I see. So we're still... Okay, so we have Underfoot. Next up is Scurry. Haste buff to yourself this turn. Move it in additional space. You use an equip an extra item. Use an extra ability. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of that. I guess let's just clobber not this basic rat. In retrospect, I should probably possess literally every rat that I come across. Okay, well, we learned Scurry. There's a lot of treasure around here. I dig that. Most of it's probably useless, but I'll take the edge. Is there a benefit to breaking an anvil? Doesn't even look like it's worth the effort. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm just gonna try and escape. Let's see if I can go upstairs. There we go. Okay, let's rest. And let's figure out what our plan is. So we have that agile, extra speed. Yeah, that was uh, risky. Uh, do I have anything in my inventory? Potion, potion, potion. Bunch of things. Well, put on the new plate armor. We have a main-handed sword. Okay, let's put on the main-handed sword so we can use the shield. It drops my damage a little bit, but it's probably worth it for the not, you know, whole not dying thing. Okay. Let's go this way. There's something about that door that worries me. Okay, so we've got a bat here. Become mine! Please? Okay, possess the bat, so it reduces my strength, increases my power, mainly I'm just near death. So there's that, and we get an axe. So it's a level two magic bat. Oh, interesting, you can break chests. Stay away from the, uh, the magic armor for a second. Actually, let's rest. There we go. Yeah, I'm definitely down for trying to, uh, trying to take the form of the animated armor. But I think for the moment it's best that I cowardice it. And, oh. You look scarier. I'm just gonna keep... ...loot fiending, I guess. When in doubt, I will just end up with loads of junk. Some of which will be worth something. I hope. Okay, we get another scroll of identify. We do get another bat. Okay. F1. And let's go beat the tar out of, well, us. The nice part is you kind of know exactly who you can fight. Because if it's a creature of the same type as you, generally you're okay. So yeah, I'll just possess it because might as well get the X-ray. Uh, HP. Okay, well, we're at it. Um, okay, so we are in magic bat. I'm gonna throw on plague rat, uh, just so we get the extra abilities. So we have balls of yarn. We also have crate fish liberated. Huh. Okay. And we have an identification scroll that I can use on the potions. Let's do this. Cures poison. Okay. Just hoping for something a little bit more healing related, but I guess we kind of lucked out on that. Oh! Interesting, we're a different color now. Is it because we've... Okay, soul fatigue. 
Changing forms, reduce all stats by 5% per stack after the first, cleared when changing forms. Okay. So let's equip abilities. We don't have any. There is magic arrow. We might actually uh, be able to get some spells here. Try possessing. The other bat. Oh, it's a vampire bat. Okay, so... Sure. Let's do that. Okay. Hey boss, we just learned a magic attack. There are various damage types such as physical, magical poison, and fire. Physical damage is dealt through melee attacks and the attacks that use stamina. It increases with strength and is reduced by toughness. Magical damage is dealt through using magic attacks, which use stamina. Because mana is harder to come by, magical attacks tend to have higher minimum damage than physical attacks. Magical damage increases with power and is reduced by resistance. Keep in mind that a weapon with magical damage doesn't add that damage unless we're using magical damage abilities. They don't affect regular me melee attacks. Poison and fire damage is mostly dealt through status effects. That is called condition damage. Condition damage increases with force and isn't reduced by anything. Hey boss, I know I've been telling you a lot of things, but it might be and it might be a bit much to take in. That's why I'm always down here in the bottom right corner giving you helpful reminders. Just click me when I'm bouncing, I got something to say. Okay, if you really have something to say, it'll be bouncing. Hey boss, does this mean there's two of me? Whoa, tricky. Okay, so I'm poisoned. That's risky. Life leech. Well, for starters, uh, we don't have anything. Um, how do we do it again? It's not... Oh. Ah, here we go. Let's throw a plague rat on. That gives us the fatigue, but that's okay. I'm poisoned for one turn remaining. Okay, I'm just going to rest for a bit. This way we get to use Life Leech. And actually, if I'm going to be using Life Leech, might be a good idea to put on a, a Magic Staff. Staff of Resistance, Staff of Force. Maybe. Hard to say. I'm going to possess this. We're going to start by Life Leech. I'm just going to keep Life Leeching this sucker. Okay. I... Hopefully I can beat the Flying Shield. I've got a lot of HP here, so this should help. There we go. And we can possess the Flying Shield. I'm going to keep possessing things. Let's, let's treadmill for now. I just want to take a look at all the forms. Hopefully some of this knowledge carries over between runs. No, my inventory is full. Okay, uh, let's get up and over here. Let's drop everything that's bad. I'll get rid of the wretched shield. The wand, the boots, pretty much anything that's not an upgrade or magical. is probably not worth it. Okay. I wish I knew what the T1 whatever stuff was. Oh, that's okay. So these are just leather boots. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just gonna beat, beat up the animated ar armor. We don't have enough, yeah, we don't have enough mana. Uh, to cast possession on it. Uh, he, that's a painful crit. Oh, this is uh, enthralling. Okay, and it's dead. But we do get uh, 3 XP and 2 form points. Actually, speaking of, uh, tough. Ooh, toughness increased by 10%. Okay, so I do have a couple of stat points. I, uh, okay. So I have three stat points. Let's put some into violence next. 
Cruelty is kind of useful, and Adamancy uh, isn't a bad idea, but we haven't gotten to the point where that's really necessary. Okay, can we get some Light Boots of Spirit? I'll throw them on. What's the other thing? Oh, accessories. So I'm going to stay away from the armor for a second. We don't know if any of it's going to be um, animated, and I don't quite try... Uh, with a name like Animated Arsenal, we should probably run. Okay, um, let's equip Plague Rat. And let's do two on ourselves. Two on ourselves. I guess this is what I get. Okay. So where are those stairs? I am very concerned about my survival here. Guess maybe I should stop breaking... I We have yet to run into, like, an animated box. So that's probably a, uh, a safe... thing to go with but still we need like a a uh, escape quickly button okay It'd be nice if you could almost like auto move in this game but that's okay all right we're just gonna sit here and auto rest ah balls Well, we could try quaffing potions, but that seems like a decidedly bad idea. Is it still there? It's still there. All right, ride to Valhalla. Oh. This thing kind of sucks. Well, I don't have much of a choice. So why is this thing garbage? Weapon Master. Oh, hi. Okay, so it's kind of garbage, it's kind of not. It's got terrible stats, but it does, uh... It's, it's got terrible stats, but uh, but it has some pretty good passives. Unfortunately, you can't really grind in this game, from what I can tell. Which is the risky part. Dunno. Uh, well, honestly, I kind of want to go back to being a vampire ma bat. Actually, while we're at it, uh, inventory. Let's do, uh, I'm gonna turn vampire bat on. And let's rest up. Okay. Because if I can... If I can actually farm for some amount of my, um, my stat points. Okay, so I'm going to leave most of these things alone. We'll, we're just going to fight regular enemies. Oh, hey. Here we go. All right, can I sell stuff? So let's sell the cursed shield. Uh, the light boots, the heavy boots. Tome of infection. Ooh, that actually does a fair amount of damage. Uh, I'll sell the axe of focus. Really? Oh, I see. So 22 balls of yarn. Okay, services. Oh, I see. He can remove curses from things. It's a bit costly. Well, I'm going to identify the cruel shield of power. And it's curse. Okay, let's go back to selling. So we don't need the robes of spirit. We don't really need the Staff of Resistance. We don't really need the Infernal Two-Handed Axe of Spirit. I like the idea of the Cruel Shield of Power, because those stats just across the board are pretty good. Okay, so what else does he sell? So these are buyback. 
This is merchandise. Uh, health potion. Does he sell only one? Yeah, he only sold one of those. Well, that's unfortunate. What else do we got? Tome of Magic Arrow. Be neat if we could actually, like, teach these things to ourselves. Oh, well. Ooh. Vorpal Ring of Constitution. That actually seems pretty worth, worth getting right now. Yeah, let's get the Vorpal Ring of Constitution, and with whatever I've got left, I don't know. It would be nice if you could, if I could actually convince this guy to identify potions for me. Oh, well. Let's close. Maybe I'll get more balls of yarn. Okay, uh, it's... Oh. ID scroll. Poison potion. I didn't realize I had uh, so many potions in my inventory. Okay, so we've got a critical potion. An odd-looking potion says Ichie at the bottom. Damage potion. I... I'm curious about whether or not I can use potions on other people. Well, one way or another... Oh. We're gonna throw this much better shield on. Oh, we should have gotten rid of the two-handed shield of endurance. Actually, let's talk to him again. Let's sell what we got. So we've got the shield of constitution, which we definitely don't need. The odious dagger, the two-handed shield... Or a sword. Yeah, okay, there we go. Life is good. I'm actually... I'm really enjoying this. This is... I... Maybe not visually one of my favorite roguelikes ever, but the uh, the monster collection uh, achievement unlock. Crate fish are great fish. All right, I don't know, uh, but the the whole monster collection, uh, you know, take take them over when you kill them thing is actually really neat. Uh, definitely more compelling than a lot of roguelikes. Probably never going to be as like deep. Uh, or as interesting as, say, Dreadmore was? Is? I don't know. Dreadmore is amazing. Kinda wish I could record it, but still. Uh, if you guys are looking for, like, a actually solid roguelike, this one's probably not a bad deal. Okay, so we just have a regular vampire bat. I'm just probably just gonna clobber knot my way through it. We do tons of damage. I guess I might as well lifesteal off of it. And we level up. Okay, uh, let's put abilities in. So we're animated arsenal. Yeah, I want to pick up, uh, I want to pick up, uh, weapon master if I can. I kind of almost wish that the abilities that you learned, there were some that would, uh, transfer over to the main form. I guess that's what, uh, equipping stuff would do. Yeah, oof, these stats. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's see. P. Okay. Uh, so these are these are my current stats. Looks like it. Um, I guess let's just pump them into violence for the time being. Not that I really have any idea what my current stats are. Cause this is like our stat multiplier. Okay, there we go. So base value is animated arsenal. 16 violence times 2, 3. Yeah. I'm curious how much of this uh, carries over between... Yeah, an another animated arsenal. Well, I'm going to be able to beat him. But I might as well use him to get some HP back. There we go. Yeah, despite the fact that we've got... Um, Okay, that's not an animated armor. There we go. Okay. Uh, not really in the mood for going for the animated armor right now. I want to max out the uh, animated arsenal for the moment. And honestly, we're doing pretty well for ourselves. So I'm not too worried about these things. Okay. Okay, what's up with this glitched out door? Looks like it just might not be a door. Like it's meant to be glitched out. Okay, well, let's start sucking life out of this guy. There we go. Yeah, it must be our equipment or something, but we actually are capable of doing some damage here, which is good. Be interesting if, like, form experience would, uh, transfer between runs. I, I guess I'm just interested in how much of this I'm going to have to do, uh, 
all over again, say if I die. Okay, so let's get some health back. There we go. There's no healing spell, but I'll take it. How's this form doing? Um, oh. Still gonna take a little while. Oh, that's okay. Okay, so we've got more. Yeah, I'm just gonna use uh, lifesteal to my advantage here. I think we've still got a fair amount of rooms to go through. Okay. Sometimes it's just kind of hard to navigate these halls. That's okay, though. Oh, we have a uh, we have another victim. Give me your health. There we go, and we get a random potion. At some point, I'll have to come back and or come back to the vampire bat form. I guess we might as well rest for a moment. If I can get a uh, upgraded version of the life steal, that'd be nice. Then again, maybe there's a. Uh... Hey, there we go. Hey, boss, you mastered this form. Way to go! Mastering forms gives a uh, few benefits. First, you get access to that form's innate ability. It always applies well in that form, even when not equipped. If it's an optional equipped form, you don't get the innate for free unless you equip the ability to that form. That's kind of a lie, because if we're our own himself, it just does apply automatically if you equip the mastered form. Finally, if we're an imp form, our meta attributes are multiplied by the best multipliers of all of our equipped mastered forms. People always say it's best to be ourselves, but in this case, it's actually true. Okay, so we've, we've maxed out this form, so it's time for me to find a new one. Well, that's okay. I did say I wanted a... I did say I wanted a, uh, a new form, or I wanted to go back to this, and this boosts my stats up by a whole bunch. So that's helpful. Oh, and uh, because I've previously equipped the rat, uh, we actually automatically get it. Okay, um, let's check the map. Do we see where the merchant is? No. Oh, he's somewhere around here. Unless he, like, totally bounced on us. Nope, there he is. Okay, uh, let's sell... Sell the wand. Surfaces. Uh, so we can identify the amulet of force. Sure. The heavy boots. Sure. The dagger and the wand. I could just sell the dagger... Dagger and the wand. Well, let's sell the two handed sword of spirit. It's no good. The jinxed amulet of resistance is no good. Shield of constitution. Oh, all of this is my in my inventory now that I'm looking at it. Okay. Let's see, cursed axe. See, I don't know what the uh, the two different versions are. It's not worth it, though. Uh, I'm gonna identify both, and we'll sell the cursed wand. Dagger of power, power plus two. Kind of tempting. Probably just gonna sell it. I don't know. I'll just identify whatever we get. Uh, sell this shield of focus. Okay, sell the. Okay, so that's three toughness. I'm probably gonna go with. Let's go with the evasive light boots. So the those stealthy heavy boots. Probably gonna keep everything else. Okay, put those on. Put on the amulet of force, and let's go back to selling every everything that we've got to him. Now, does he have anything new? It does not look like it. He has. A lot of potions that we've never dealt with. Oh no, he does! He's got, uh, different weapons entirely. Maybe? I don't know. It's very hard to tell. Either way, let's 
do this. Identify a stamina potion. I wish the guy would sell me, um... Let's do that. Retro mode unlocked. Oh. Nostalgia by X. Okay, that's weird. Well, I'm definitely not interested in uh, going full retro here. Let's pick that up. Uh, is that it? No. Well, let's just clobber not our way through bats. I feel like, as the arsenal, we actually did a fair bit more damage. But I'm not entirely sure why. Well, can't complain too much. Okay. Let's go back in here. Unfortunately, not fully certain. Oh. We're back here. Well, we got all this stuff. We might as well actually uh, head towards the end of the episode. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to go sell everything uh, to Cat Merchant again. I know it's a bit obsessive, but the more balls of yarn we can pick up, probably the better. Probably. Okay, uh, so let's sell, yeah, all of this junk. Oh, sell equipment. Common. Nice. Oh, and there's an un unidentified axe in there. Okay, and yeah, the shield is not worth identifying, but not a big deal. Axe of power. Yeah, it's probably better to go with the axe of power than the, um, than the regular sword. I like the cell equipment common. That's a, that's a nice feature. I mean, all of this is a nice feature. I like this roguelike. It's fun. Uh, it's a bit slow, but a lot of that just has to do with the, uh, the genre more than anything else. Also, if you click, uh, if you, like, click and hold down, you will, uh, auto-path to where you're trying to go, which is neat. Okay, so we're on Vampire Bat. Can we equip anything? No. Innocuous. And I don't know if I'm gonna throw on Weapon Master. It's tempting. But I think I might keep the rat for the time being. Either way, though, can I, can I save and quit? I have no idea. If, if I do, does it end the run? Uh, let me, let me see if I can, uh, look this up, because I'd hate, hate for this to be one of those. Let's try a save. I have no idea. Well, that's worrying. I don't really want to have to redo a run, uh, just because the game doesn't let you, uh, quit in the middle of it. That's worrying. Oh, let's see. Drop stuff. Drag on the ground. Uh, that's going to be a problem. Well, one way or another, I guess I will see you guys on the next episode of Mid Boss. We might have to start over, and I might just have to do these runs as like single things. That's a little bit hard, just in case like these runs go real long. I think it'll be fine. Uh, I think it said continue, so I, I think we're good. Well, I guess we'll find out because uh, I I don't have time to play any more mid boss today. But yeah, this game is solid. If you guys like Dungeons Dreadmore, Caves of Cod, uh, Net Hack, you know traditional roguelikes, this one's absolutely going to be uh, worth picking up. It's fairly cheap too. I think it's like ten bucks. Uh, but for the amount of like depth and breadth that I've already seen, it looks like it's going to be uh, well worth a a look. So I guess with that. Thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah, and of course, if you wanna, if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more mid boss, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, just because I'm always a little bit leery about traditional roguelikes; they're a bit slow. But if people like it, I'll keep playing it. And of course, if that's the case, then yeah, hit subscribe because I play a ton of roguelikes, uh, and I'm probably gonna at least try and do a couple of runs of mid boss, just because of how unique and interesting this is. So, like I was saying. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. And I can confirm that you can continue runs, which is incredibly useful. Sorry for that scare if any of you guys were worried about that too. But uh, yeah, you can quit You can quit the game, you can quit the title, and you can just load it back up again. There's also stuff like quick play and custom game that I'd like to look into at some point. Uh, level size, floor 2 size. Some of these are actually kind of interesting. Ooh, rare item drop rate. Oh, but it takes off stat tracking. Eh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, there, that, that's it. Just had to clarify. I don't know.